go with the next match of Nefarious in November from AZW. Nefarious in November 2015. We have tag team action coming at you with Mark and Jack, the YouTube princes, taking on the Kloss Brothers, the tag team champions. AZW's only tag team champions so far. It's a newer title in the Kloss Brothers or Claus Brothers. They pronounced it both ways. Go with the whole Christmas theme. We'll stick to Claus Brothers. They have been the only champion so far. They won the tournament in order to take the man at the title, and they have retained ever since then. This is the first time these two teams have met for the title. 
First time they've met at all. As a matter of fact, big insiguri there from the larger man. It's a Jacob Claus, I believe. One, two. Jacob and Trevor, two players. No. Of course, Mark and Jack coming to us from the YouTube land here to E Federation land. Mark and Jacob in the ring at the moment. I believe that's Jacob. Sorry, might be having a bit of a brain freeze there. Brain fart. Yeah, Jacob has the brown hair. Trevor, or is my back getting them mixed up? Sorry, folks. I've been up all day getting all these videos ready for you and my brain is a bit frazzled at the moment so whichever Klaus, Klaus brother that is in the ring I think that Jacob is the one with the brown hair and Trevor has the blonde I believe it's Jacob Klaus in the ring with Jack at the moment docking the position Jack manages to hit the big kick to the back of the head looks like he's May have been going for a tag out of it. He was caught. Klaus brother there. Just playing defense. Might be trying to sucker Jack in. It's a big enziguri. Jack is not really uh, avoiding him, so it could be that he's been successful. No, he just got taken back with a big suplex. Smart move by Jack. Puts uh, Jacob there. I believe that's Jacob. The Kloss brother that he's in there with. Put him back over towards his side of the ring. Now tags Mark back in. No double team action. Mark in the ring now with Jacob. Trying to get something going, but Jacob is determined to get over there and to tag out. Mark is not succeeding in stopping him. Foot is caught. Big clothesline there. I guess you would have to call that a short leg clothesline. Mark Irish whips. Manages to get the Hurricane Rana. Starts punching in the ropes. Broken up by the ref immediately. Like uh, Trevor was going for a something there for uh, maybe smashing his head into the turnbuckle. Mark prevented it. Uh, Jacob is trying to get over and makes the tag into Trevor. Not a bit of a pile up going on here. Just a, a, a general melee. You couldn't really see what was going on. Mark's in with Trevor. Trevor takes him down with a side light Russian leg sweep. Picks him up. Harris will do the corner. Big drop kick in the corner. Mark tries to counter with his own drop kick there. Jacob uh, catches him, distracts him, allowing Trevor to grab and go for the head scissor takedown. Truman suplex attempt countered with a big flip. Trevor runs in, takes advantage to do a face crusher, head crusher, chin crusher, nose crusher. I have heard many names for that particular move. It's not a bulldog, it is a face crusher. Mark was going for a Northern Lights. Denied. Jack. Foot is caught. Goes in. Hits the degree, but takes a big high angle backdrop from Jacob. Jack has Trevor and he's throwing him out of the ring. Mark goes for a big 
Moon Salt, the Asai Moon Salt misses as Trevor just rushes back into the ring. It is, of course, the Asai Moon Salt named after Ultimo Dragon, who originated the move, popularized it. The moon Salt to the outside from the second rope. Jack gets a hold of Trevor, high angle backdrop. Trevor gets Jack and does a twisting backdrop. Magic backdrop so far. A lot of backdrops. Full up. Schoolboy. Irish whip. Trevor off the ropes. Jack slingshot or springboard back elbow. Springboard back elbow. Jacob tagged back in. Trevor trying something, Jack reverses, Trevor reverses, Trevor hits a big tiger suplex on Jack, just as something else was going on, I was watching what Jack and Trevor were up to, and that's what was happening with Mark and Jacob, Jacob in the ring with Jack now, Jack grabs, Tries to go for a roll up pin, it looked like, but Jacob just dropped him back. Big high angle backdrop again. Jack probably needs to get a tag out. He's eating some heavy punishment there, heavy maneuvers. Trevor grabs him and guillotine drops him down on the rope. Jacob picks him up. Reverse suplex. Grabs big belly to back suplex or release German, whichever you prefer. Foot is caught, leg sweep. Jack eats a big drop kick, but kicks Jacob. Jack manages to get the pin. Mark is back inside, has a hold of Jacob. A little bit of double team striking there, stomping a leg drop. Kick to the back of the head. Got Mark and Jacob inside the ring now together, fighting. Fireman's carry, takedown. Drop kick does not impact. Dropping arm stunner there from Jacob on Mark. Goes for a chin lock. Does not take long. Mark off to get into the ropes. Alright, so we've got some play-by-play -play going there for you folks. Uh, let me uh, just talk about a bit about the teams here, of course. Uh, I already talked about the Kloss brothers a little bit. The only holders of the tag team titles. We'll have to see if Mark and Jack can take those titles off of them tonight. This afternoon, whenever you happen to be watching. This morning, even. This is YouTube. You can be watching at any time of day. Ooh. <laughs> Jacob goes to the outside prepping for it. Looked like he was going to go for that drop kick anyway. Mark tried to stop it. And that was a reversed uh, last clause plex, I believe. There is a One, two, big hurricane rana pin. It's a twisting hurricane on a pin. I believe that was a last clause plex. Reverse last clause plex there from Jacob. That is his finisher is the last clause plex. Drop kick. Drops Mark down into a sitting position. Jacob kicks him in the face. Or chest perhaps. Couldn't quite tell where he connected. So the Kloss brothers quite an effective tag team. Managed to hold on to the titles through several defenses now. The only ones who have held those titles, as I've said. Mark and Jack, kind of new to E-Fed, new to the whole wrestling business. They came in, working in the tag division. They've done some work in the lightweight division. Now they're taking on the champs for, uh, you know, trying to take those tag titles. I have to see what happens here. Irish whip into the ropes. Jack hits a tornado DDT there. 
like he may have been trying to do a little bit of a one-two punch there, try and knock Jacob down and then take Trevor down with the Tornado DDT. Did not succeed in taking them both down, but did hit the DDT. Everybody's in the ring now. Kind of hard to tell what all's going on. I think Mark just took a drop kick to the back of the head. Jacob has a hold of Mark. Big reverse suplex. Trevor just took a yet another tornado DDT from Jack. Uh, let me just clarify that there are, there's two different ways you can do that reverse suplex. There's the front version where you fall forward, and then and, uh, Jacob just took a double team suplex there, and the one from behind, which is it, it's a suplex, is just in reverse. But yeah, they're both rever technically rev called are are both technically called reverse suplex, but different positioning, same effect. You drive your opponent's gut into the mat as hard as you can. Jacob gets in there with a flying chop, tags Trevor right back in. Not sure about the logic in that. Trevor counters the Irish whip. Jacob takes Jack down with another one of those high ankle backdrops he likes to use. Trevor has a hold of Jack was going for a side rush and legs sweep, but Jack uh, elbows him in the head, counters it. Has a hold of him, arm ringer. With an elbow smash, follow up. Jack kind of sometimes looks like he's going for a tag out. That was a, one of Trevor's pinning suplex combinations. I'm not sure that would be a head and arm suplex with a bridge. I'm not sure. Perhaps an arm ringer, no, not an arm ringer, but an arm. I can't remember the name of that arm lock. An arm lock suplex, maybe, would be what it's called. I'm not sure. I'll just stick with head and arm suplex with a bridge. Jack goes behind, roll up pin. Not even a one count. Some jockeying from position there. Jack loses sight of Trevor, was looking for him, takes another back drop. Trevor. It looks like he might have been going for a power bomb pin. Jack reverses into a Hurricane Rana pin, but gets no count. Mark manages to get a hold of Trevor, distracts him. Foot is caught. Big clothesline from Trevor on to Jack. Doubt he has a whole lot of impact off of that, being a, a smaller guy, but having a hold of someone le someone's leg like that gives you more leverage, so there's going to be some impact there. Not going to get out of it scot free, that's for sure. Roll up. Like, Jack just drop kicked Trevor directly into Mark. Mark has Trevor in a headlock now. A sleeper hold, I should say. Irish win. Back into the sleeper. Jacob breaks it up. Both going for kicks. That was a. Uh, it's a side kick. And Trevor gets Mark into a bridged. German suplex there. I believe technically a German suplex is a belly to back suplex with a bridge. Technically. But people have become accustomed to thinking of that particular maneuver as just a German suplex. So it tends to get called German suplex regardless of whether it has the bridge or not. Mark going for some kicks there, but doesn't really connect. He's behind him. Big kick to the back of the head. Picking him up. Yes, Trevor. See what he's going to do here. Irish whip. Trevor at the ropes. Mark does a springboard back elbow. Takes Trevor down. Trevor gets back up pretty quickly there. Do not uh, discount Trevor's toughness. Just because he's a smaller guy doesn't mean he's not tough.
These guys have held on to the titles for quite some time for a reason. There's a big German suplex with a roll-up in, but Trevor was right there to break it up. Ow, wah, 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 wah. <coughs> Begging the pardon. Trevor, uh, no, that was Jacob just caught Jack there with a big double underhook suplex. That is almost a DDT version of that suplex that he likes to use. I believe I've talked about it before, but there are uh, different styles. Trevor is the high flyer. He tends to go for a lot of pins. While Jacob, more of the power wrestler, goes for a lot of high impact. He's another double underhook suplex. Uses a lot of suplexes. He is considered one of the finest suplex uh, technicians, the finest uh, practitioners of the suplex, I should say. Free phrase that. Jack manages to get the pin, goes for a Northern Lights suplex, but it was blocked. Jacob uses that high angle backdrop. Fireman take over. Fireman carry. Take down, if you will, if you prefer. Arm ringer with an elbow. Let's see, Mark's, Mark's going up top. Thought better of it. Goes for that falling side kick. Does not connect. Jacob has a hold of him. Irish whip into the corner. Trevor grabs. Mark manages to distract him, keep him off balance. Jacob takes him up. Rib breaker. Go behind. Mark flips out of the suplex attempt. Double tag, so we got Trevor and Jack coming in now. Trevor jump. Drop kick, manages to connect with Jack. Like, ja uh, Jacob got hit with a punch, but then countered the next one, dropped down with that uh, arm breaker or arm stutter. Then Mark got Trevor, it looked like, in that roll up pin, I think. Kind of lost track there for a second. Now we've got uh, Trevor and Jack in the ring. That was a chin breaker. Big running Centon elbow. Not sure if he was really driving the elbow down, if it was just a straight up suit Centon splash. So, One, two, count two. Big German suplex with a bridge there. Proper German suplex, but only got a two count. Jacob catches. Jack with uh, another double underhook suplex. Had to knee him to take him over, but he caught him and took him for a ride. Not sure what Trevor was going for there, but he did not catch Jack with it. Jack goes behind. Big backdrop. Trevor goes for that drop kick, misses. Jacob manages to catch Jack. Gets him again. One, Trevor was going for another two, chip breaker, it looked like, but Jack blocked three, it, but then got caught again. And four, then he's been taken out. Now he's been taken five, to the outside. Jacob's out on the outside. Six, and Jack uh, counters seven, and does a roll up pin. He's eight, got the count going. Mark and Trevor in the ring, facing off against each other. It's not a good position to be in there for Trevor. Jack has him. Atomic drop. Going up top, see what he's going to do. Jack just hit a four fist 50 splash. I'm not sure where he pulled that out from. Jack just hit a 450. 450 splash. Ladies and gentlemen, 450 splash from Jacksepticeye. Trevor kicked out. Shows you just how tough Trevor is. That is a big splash right there. Tornado DDT. Right there in the corner. Jack is pulling him out into the ring. He's one, spinning. One, two, two three. three. Mark made the save. Kept Jacob from blocking it. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, the Kloss brothers have just lost their title for the very first time.
we have new tag team champions. Your tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube princes. I will see you on the next match for Nefarious in November 2015. I'll see you later.